Hello, everyone. I am so excited to have Congolese music legend Kofi Olumide right here next to me. How are you, Kofi? I'm very, I'm well, I'm fine. I'm so happy to be next to you. Thank you so much. So you. Um, you have just been appointed cultural ambassador for Congo. Um, you're also a diplomat and um, has, have recently received the African Legend Award from AFRIMA 2021. These are just recent accomplishments. Um, what do you plan to do with your ambassadorship? Well, I, I, I will be in a bell to explain everything I, 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 uh, I want to do in English. You know, I'm a Frenchman. Yes. My English is like it's that. It's okay. You can speak um, it in French if you would like. Uh, I started my mission as an ambassador going to Belgium, the country that colonized Congo, because I wanted, as an ambassador of Congolese culture, to ask Belgium to repatriate the musical instrument and the artwork that Belgium took from Congo during the colonization. There are about 8,000 musical instruments that Belgium has at its Terran Museum. It's an immense wealth. And also an uncalculable number of art objects there on exhibit. It's a fight that started before me, but I decided to ask the Belgian government politely to repatriate to Congo as a compensation for all that we have lost culturally and build a museum worthy of its name to exhibit our object there. But Mr. Guido, who is the director of the museum in Tevren, said, Yes, but Kofi, you are nice. You have come nicely. The politicians who came before you were aggressive and threatening. But with you, we feel that we can dialogue. But we want to alert you that Congo is taken with Belgium because we are its old colonizer. But in Washington, there are more than 15,000 musical instruments there. So one day I'm going to ask the boss, the number one, the chief of states, to bring me here and meet with the Americans so that America can also repatriate that and build us a museum. Also, the Congolese rumba has become intangible cultural heritage. It has this title. And I'm going to ask the Congolese Senate and the Congolese Parliament to adopt a law that the history of the rumba becomes a subject taught in our schools. This amongst all the steps that I've started to make. But I revealed that at the conference, there are five acts in total, but these are the two that I've started. En parlant de la rumba, is soukous or uh, ndombolo still the number one music genre, dansant in Congo? In Africa. You think? Yes. Yes, but before that, there was mutuashi, folk dance coming from country the provinces, from our ancestors. There is Makwandungu. There was Mbonga, folk dances, coming from villages of our fathers and our grandfathers. And then, to not stop the fun, there was Sukus, Ndombolo, there is Chacho. All those are variants. Oh, look, he's dancing already over there. So there are variants. It's like the supermarket, right? One finds shelves of cheese, but it's all the same supermarket. You don't see that any other styles may eclipse? No, no, ça va continuer. No, it will continue. No one can stop culture. No one can stop intelligence. No one can stop creativity. It will continue to surface our territories, from our forests, from our villages. It will continue. No, it won't stop. Because our kids, today the music that's made, there is little color that comes from the West, from America, but that mixes with the African Congolese roots. Yeah. But musically, we are in competition with South Africa. I'm a piano, we have Ndombolo. But there are many, many different cultures in Africa. There is not just one Africa culture. There is maybe a way to see Africans, but in each corner of Africa, there is something distinct. The Kenyans, the Maasai, the Luo, the... So it's an immense wealth. But the director, Mr. Guido, of the Museum of Teruren in Brussels, confirmed this. He told me that the cultural heritage of Congo is perhaps the richest in the world. That's wonderful. That must be so exciting for you. Yeah. You are now 65. Me, 65? No. 55. But do you find that, given your age, 
um, it seems like you have, I mean, you look great, you dance great, you sing great, you still are on top. Many, many old, old, other things I do very well. Oh, really? <laughs> other yeah. things? But now that you have this ambassadorship, mm -hmm. it must be exciting, like a new, a new path. Yeah. In a new direction. A new departure for my life, yes. Yeah. All right. That's exciting. I feel more responsible. I feel more father of my kids. Uh, father, more husband for my wife, mm. like a father for the young musicians mm -hmm. of my country and Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want any more to fight, any more to, to be in confusion. I mm. prefer to be in harmony. I saw an interview with you earlier, and you said your favorite singer was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Is it still master, true? That the maestro, the master. So what song do you love the most? All of his songs. Uh, uh, mama say, Mama say, Mama kusai. Yeah. Once uh, a, a new album of Michael uh, appeared, mm -hmm. I bought uh, 12 albums <laughs> to, to, to give to. Uh, and when I play one of the songs, I hear the sound like uh, verre cassé, like a broken glass. A bottle, yeah. Like a broken glass. <laughs> it was a shock for me. And I called my producer. Ask him, I want this sound in one of my songs. What song is it? Désespoir. Désespoir. You, you, can, you can listen to this song. This song from Michael Jackson. OK. Uh, he's a teacher. He will stay a teacher. Today, okay. nobody in America no. compared to him. Nobody replaced him. Nobody. That's beautiful. I love your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of love. <laughs> we just have a few more minutes. What would you like to say to... Uh, to young people today, all of your experiences? First of all, I, I'm not here to teach people. I need to be taught myself. Mm -hmm. I need to learn. But the most important thing in the life is to love what you do, mm -hmm. to do what you do by love. People feel that I do what I do because I love, not for money, not for uh, jealousy. Mm, that's beautiful. Kofi, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure and an honor have you here. I miss you. I'll go <laughs> back in Paris. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you to, so to much. To me. I'm very proud. It's, uh, it, for me, it's a very big moment, more than to be with Marius, to be with you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Marius, forgive me. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. See you.